no value. You got that? And how do you, and, and here's an example of how you could put, all right, and this is, here's an example of how you can actually put some coursework on your actual resume. So let's just say you went to one of these, you did, intro, you know, intro, introduction to, to, to computer science, or you did a master class, and you want to put the bullet point, what did you accomplish? Did you create a, uh, did you create, a, did you, I'm sorry, did you actually, you know, run a few tests or, and things like that? So again, I'm going to send you something 24 hours to kind of give a little bit more perspective on this. But you can actually position course and project and certifications as experience. Tell a good career story. All of you are coming from different backgrounds. One of you may have more transferable skills or direct experience than the next. And some of you could be sitting in an industry where, think about finance. You know how many banking companies I've never seen contact me, but I have some students who got finance and then they see mortgage stuff all the time. I don't like mortgage stuff anyway. I'm not, I, I'll probably go to sleep on testing mortgage stuff. It's just not my cup of tea. I probably wouldn't be a good tester for a mortgage company. So, but personally, if you have finance background or something like that, you actually have domain experience. Remember how I talked about te experiences, technology, tools, domain, okay? Um, uh, all of that is experience. So who have you been up until this point from a technology perspective, from a, from a skills perspective, and from a domain experience? All right. Next, what you want to do is you want to get keywords from the market. So what you going to do? I want, you're going to go to the market. And you're going to go look up these job titles. See all these jobs? You see how different way, how many different ways QA can be said? And every company doesn't list QA titles the same. So a lot of comp people are going into, they're taking these high cost boot camps and they just saying, I want to be a manual QA. And they just looking at manual QA, manual QA and they're like, I can't find a job at all. Or I can barely be minimal because the title is not all manual tester. You're going to see QA analyst, QA tester, UAT tester. I've had several jobs, several students actually land roles under being a starting as a UAT tester. And a UAT tester, if we talked about, we talked about environments. I know I went kind of fast, but remember how you guys, we have the, the developer environment. Then we have the QA environment. Then we have the staging or the UAT environment, which is actually basically a, a clone of the production without all the information, not as much information before it goes to production. So essentially, I'm a QA tester, but they have UAT testers, internal and external, who maybe re who test the software one more time before they actually push it to develop development. I'm sorry, production for the live environment. There's companies that have a UAT team. Some of you guys may be sitting in companies that got QA teams and UAT teams. So I need you to you know, do your filter, do your search. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and I'm gonna say one of the ways I like to search, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to LinkedIn, all right? I normally say QA analyst for myself, you know, um, I always, I'm a bit lazy, you know, but I want you guys to try to do them all. So let's just say QA analyst. And let's just say jobs, QA analyst. I like to say, I'm going to say post in the last 24 hours. Now, this says engineer. It says 125 to 131. I'm assuming they might want a little experience with coding, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they want someone to do automation. I don't know. Let me look at this real quick. I don't think. Oh, my gosh. So, you see this? You still on? <laughs> right, right. This say 125 to 131. I see. Hold on. They want to do a video. 45 minute manual test. Yeah. This is just manual QA. I don't think I see no automation on here. That's a different type of company right there. That's pretty high. Um, okay, I do see this now. So I do see this experience writing automated tests and web application with test application. Um, this includes creating test design. So they might want someone that has a little automation because it says have ability to develop. So you're going to still, so don't take yourself out though because you're going to, so you want to learn how, like see how you still, if you really, now it says contribute and maintain our growing automation. So it does look like that that might be something. That's why I was looking at the, the pay. I was like, that's a little hard to just say manual that strong. But this is where, I, if anyone does want to grow in automation, these are the types of also possibilities that you can actually have, right? So let's see, senior QA uh, analyst. Um, 
Oh, five years of SQL. Now, yeah, you guys may say, oh, I just learned what SQL is, but do I have five years of it? So what you can do is now, again, that's about how you position your knowledge, right? You can be familiar with S, you know, SQL and going to the database and maybe you actually went through a database, but you wasn't using queries, but now you have that skill. Now it's about adding that on your resume to articulate what you know and how you actually know how to query. All right. You don't, don't take yourself out. This says, or equivalent work experience. Have all of you guys been working for five years? You got, you got five years of work experience. Now you just you want to use your transferable skills to actually position this. Um, then you, and so five years of software quality management processes. You have five years of work experience. We're going to actually speak to it just from a process of understanding that I have, um, I, I, have, I have transferable experience in this process. Why? You guys have all worked with companies that had software, right? software application or tool something that you guys worked on every single day so yes you are familiar with understanding the quality management process are we am i right or am i right we understand we understand that right all right so um two years experience creating and managing documentation okay so you know what that means right so it's like even though you didn't directly do you know what it means how can you actually stand out and say i can do this job like this one here oh what Anybody know what Jira is already? We was just in Jira, right? So understanding Jira, this says general understanding in the landscape of lawn services business. That says it's a plus. Okay. I mean, I guess I understand the general, you know, of that. But obviously it looks like that's a software for 